the beer closure and we constantly need to remind ourselves that there are three teachers in our life we a pivotal mission critical role in our success here after the parents are always and will be the teacher one the teacher in the school will be teacher two and the local community where you come from your roots your environment where you have grown up in the 17 18 years that is your teacher three therefore it is the it is the combination of teacher one teacher two and teacher three which is going to play as i said a very vital role in a future holistic development a cultural identity and a culture specific things like for example uh, love for parents respect for parents is typically asian and indian it is over there and any withdrawal from any one of these key players is going to affect the success and happiness of your child even when she is 70 80 years old this is a very important aspect which we often forget in our high pace life that we lead over there i am always reminded of the famous novella the gorical novella animal farm by george orwell and in this little story uh, george orwell writes about a very dedicated farmer who looked after his chickens and his pigs his entire life now he was old he was feeble he couldn't take care of himself so the pigs and the chickens decided to have a conference and they said the agenda of the conference is listen the farmer has taken care of us all these years what can we do to help him out so the resolution was passed that the chickens would provide the eggs free and the pigs would provide ham and bacon no sooner had the resolution been passed when suddenly the pigs came back and they said no 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 i think we made a mistake <laughs> they said to the chickens giving eggs is a commitment but giving bacon and ham is an involvement for every x number of pounds of bacon and, and ham one pig will have to die so i think this is the key difference between involvement and commitment normally speaking these three players teacher one teacher two and teacher three we restrict ourselves to our commitment that we have done our job we have educated the kid i have seen that the kid goes to the right places to the right jobs the right resume she has and she will lead her own lives and we as parents did whatever we could teachers will say the same thing communities teacher three will never even remember whether they were part of the community or not and therefore it is very important that we have this conversation today are we having this conversation because we feel that paying hefty fees for online education which all of you are going to pay whether you study in india or abroad without college experience is not the best of options we should seriously consider taking a gap year off to make your child future ready to be future ready is to be startup ready if your child is not start up ready now it's too late possibly it is too late after college or after taking up a job somewhere and then one decides to become a start up leader uh, is going to be a very serious problem bangalore is the start up capital of india as i speak to you today there are 8000 start ups in bangalore 50% of them have shut down they have shut down they don't exist all the money is gone debts are high and the other 50% are struggling they're just struggling to keep their nose above the water and 
apart from the fact that they are cash strapped what is also equally important is that many of them don't have the competencies to be a startup leader they have started a startup but they don't have the competencies had they had the competencies they would not be in a situation where they have used up all the money which venture capitalists have given to them and they got nothing in their tick in their in their kitty so i think it's very very important for us to understand that online education and college experience without college experience is not the best of options secondly as a school indus professes and practices innovation we need to raise the bar continuously we will therefore elicit your feedback on what more can indus do to make a child future ready to prepare a child for a world which is going to continuously be uncertain and ambiguous and well, what more can indus do ladies and gentlemen the greatest challenge has yet to come corona is a dress rehearsal it's a mock examination which you are used to <laughs> because dp is known for mock examinations the term is quite familiar to them the larger threat the serious threat the most dangerous threat has already arrived climate collapse we therefore need to understand that there are only three vaccines available for your child to psychologically and cognitively immunize herself to develop those antibodies within herself vaccine number 1 innovation vaccine number 2 innovation vaccine number 3 innovation even if the drugs come and we have pharmaceutical solutions for covid-19 covid-19 is not going to go away there will be second waves and third waves and you will have climate collapse which has already started to take a toll in the world i have said this before in graduations in on several forums and i say this to you now because i think you are now in a more receptive mood than ever before the world could carry a dam of your qualifications they want to or your resume you may be from harvard you may be from stanford you may be from anywhere if they could carry a dam now you want to know what have you done with your qualifications in haryana in typical haryanvi style they say when they evaluate a person they say ye khoote wala bail hai ya hal jotne wala bail hai there are a lot of these bulls who are festooned with colors and paintings and everything and with goddesses pictures hanging over there and there is another bull that is plowing the field over there future employers want to know what are you capable of we are not interested in your phd or your stanford what can you uh, what are you capable of in other words are you innovative in my office i've got all the all the certificates and medals of excellence they don't care a damn these parchments and these medals are part of nostalgia that's all nothing else parents couldn't care a damn what general ray did in the army or what big medals he got over there they want to know what a general ray done today what is he going to do tomorrow with our kids is he innovative it is a gentleman think over very carefully if your child is not innovative she will have no social or economic value therefore the bottom line is clear 
to be startup ready your child requires three sets of competencies digital leadership that is more about taking your company organization and yourself to exponential levels it's about innovative competencies and it's about entrepreneurial competencies how to start a start how to get money what business strategies do we have how do we market in a scarcity driven market now by virtue of schooling in industry your child has a solid base but she needs to practice these competencies and skills in a real life market environment so the the theory part and the small little experiments are over and now she has to move into a real life dog eat dog market today is a dog eat dog market environment where only the fittest will survive that is the law of human evolution your children therefore who have graduated from grade 12 the question you got to ask yourself is one is your child ready to give employment if she is not she better stay back and do something else which i will talk to you in a couple of minutes if she is not ready if she is only going to seek employment the scenario is very grim tirupati's and shridhi's possibly can help us but i cannot see any logic reason getting into the way let us look at this uh, college education dilemma today in the us and and uh, uk and i would say for all countries abroad as parents we consider college education abroad as an investment in our child's future and we have three goals in mind we want that our children should have the best available knowledge they should be part of an elite network in both nowadays you get hired for your capability and not for your network and thirdly our goal is that she will have a resume that will give her a great economic advantage harvard london school of economics carnegie mellon this university that university ladies and gentlemen that future has changed according to mckinsey normal operations for all colleges abroad are unlikely to resume before the summer of 2021 unlikely not will but unlikely to resume before the summer of 2021 till then it will be online and therefore students will miss out on what i would call is college experience college experience of fierce intellectual debates not in our universities but universities abroad fierce intellectual debates research opportunities in labs and libraries diverse interaction with students of varied culture different perspectives different experiences i seriously urge you ladies and gentlemen to consider option b don't send your child unless she is startup ready therefore option b will include the following take a gap year to develop the competencies of an entrepreneur and we will help you we are starting a startup school with one or two or three parents from the dp who are entrepreneurs and our team over here Make this happen. Second option is to test in a startup company in Bangalore or wherever city you come to. She must have that experience. If you think that she has the experience, begin a startup straight away. Fourth option: pursue a college degree abroad online. 
not recommended. Fifth option is do your entrepreneurship gap year in India, your undergrad in India, and postgrad abroad. By then, hopefully, in another three, four years, the situation will clarify. And common to all options, your child must pursue a higher purpose and spare at least two hours a week for community program, for community outreach program. Dear parents, the only gift that you can give to your child is not a passport to America or to UK or anywhere else in Mars. The biggest gift you can give to your child is a vision. And in today's troubled times, and times in the future which are going to be more troubled, more uncertain and more ambiguous, the only thing that does not change is a vision. And vision is born out of a purpose. You're saying that, listen, darling, today we're going to have a vision. Let's have a vision. It's going to happen that way. He has to have a vision. And this is the only gift, the only gift that teacher one and teacher two can give to a child. Nothing else matters. Therefore, I feel that we need to seriously now Review the options we have already exercised. It's never too late. I'd like to remind you that the secret of living is giving. Giving what matters most in our life. You don't have to do the art of living course and pranayam. Yoga and meditation. They're all right. You can put them as part of the syllabus. <laughs> but the secret of life is giving what matters most. This is the time to sensitize the child. Life per se has no meaning. We have to give meaning to life. We have to give meaning to our work. And our students who go to college, wherever, India, abroad, wherever they go, they have to remember three things always and every time. They have to remember, firstly, the power of giving back to parents. The power of giving back to the school, the power of giving back to the community, who have made them what they are today. Secondly, giving back ideas, giving back their time to their parents, to their school, and to their community. And lastly, is to creating or create opportunities for those less fortunate than you in the community you belong to or from where you have come. So, the agenda for our conversation today is twofold. We can take it in any, I suggest we follow a certain sequence so that it becomes easy to understand. So conversation one will be on the gap option or option B. The conversation two will be, according to you, what more should Indus do to make children future ready. Therefore, is there any thing which you wish to say? Principal is here. I am just a interlocutor. I am just a, a enabler. Benefit of the school, we would like to know from you what are your views on option B? 
choice is yours and conversation 2 we'd like to have your views on what more can indus do to make a child future ready rojini yes general absolutely we're all set yes yes